Hi and welcome to another Dance Diagnostics YouTube video. Today we've got a 2016 Renault Clio fitted with a 1.5 DCI diesel engine. Customer reports that the check injection system warning message is coming on the cluster and the engine management light is coming on. Intermittently there's a loss of power. This is my friend's car, I have been out with it off camera and what we did notice is that as soon as you get under load and you're going uphill especially, that's when you tend to notice the loss of power. So let's get to it. So first things first, let's confirm it. Start the vehicle. Check injection system is on in the middle of the screen. You can see the spanner light and the engine management light is on. So let's knock that off, hook up the diagnostic machine and read some fault codes. So ignition on. The dongle for the RTDiag 900 light that I'm using today is in. I've VIN the vehicle. We can now do a diagnostic scan. So if we auto scan. Just reading the DTCs in the PCM. And we can see we've got one fault there. Differential pressure sensor circuit particulate filter performance or operation incorrect. It's a current fault code. So what I'd like to do while we're sat in the vehicle, we've got the machine, is we can run a live data test. So we're going into the injection. Once again, you'll see now we've got more functions to choose from, more options. So if we choose the data stream, go down to injectors. We can just scroll through. We've got a particulate filter pressure differential of 0 HPA. So I can see if there's soot, soot in particulate filter, 0 grams. This tells me that sensor is not reading. So now what we need to do is get under the bonnet with a multimeter and do some actual checks. Just coming underneath the bonnet, you can see from up above, it is now impossible to see the differential pressure sensor. The exhaust is on the back of the engine. If I just try to get it on camera, telescopic, cam uh, telescopic mirror down the back, it's kind of hard to make out on the camera, but the sensor is down the back of the engine here. So what I'm going to do, just to gain a bit of access to get my hands in, just remove a couple of these pipes from up top. I'll be able to get the multimeter in, and then we can back probe this sensor, see what's going on. So what I've done, before we pin anything out, have a quick look. Nice visual inspection. I don't know if you can quite make that out on the camera. I'll try and get the camera around there. We have sensor, I've unbolted it. Two pipes, and what we can see is one's actually broken. So this should be okay with a new pipe. So let's get this off, new pipe on, and see if the sensor's okay. So I wasn't able to actually video the pipe removal and refitting. I have had to fit a temporary pipe just for now, just to get the lady on the way. It is a Sunday afternoon, so I'm not going to get that pipe anywhere right now. But if we go back in to the diagnostic unit, and we do an auto scan, ETCs cleared. Let's go to data stream. Back down to injectors. We 
start the car. We do actually now have a reading even though it is only 2 HPA. So it's in the particulate filter at the minute, it's still reading zero. There's no lights on the dashboard. Car revs fine. See, we now got a reading on the particulate filter pressure here. Right then, let's get out on a test drive and let's see some data readings.